So if you're looking for an easy way to check your CPU and your GPU temperatures, I'm going to show you a cool tool that you can use that will do all that. And I'm going to walk you through the setup process. And once you get this tool all set up, you should be able to monitor your, your temperatures without any issues. So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing we want to do is go over to your favorite search engine. And we're going to type in HW monitor. Let's come down here to the one that is from CPUID.com. And you can see here, HW monitor, it will measure well, not just your temperatures, it will measure the voltage and fan speeds and everything. So overall, it's a, it's a pretty good tool. But for the purposes of this video, we're just going to use it for checking the, the, the temperature for your CPU and GPU. All right, so let's go ahead and click Setup. Let's click Download Now. Once that's all done, go ahead and run this. Let's go here yep we can leave the default location let's go next yep this is fine next and we're gonna leave the option here for it to create a desktop icon and then let's go next all right once that's all done click install uh, we don't need to view the readme file i mean if if you're probably having trouble sleeping at night you can you can go ahead and read it or maybe if you're a lawyer and and you're paranoid you can you can read this too uh i'm, I'm none of those so i'm just gonna uncheck that then click finish and once that's done let's go to desktop i'm gonna find our uh our icon here, CPU ID, and it's HW monitor. And let's go ahead and double click that and run it. Okay, so now that we got it up and running, let me just try to minimize some of these options here. And we'll kind of go through the ones that we need. Like I said, it gives you a, a lot of good information, but Again, for the purposes of this video, we're only interested in the temperatures. So it tells you your your PC name. Mine's is Sim Dash PC. Um, it also tells you the uh, the processor or CPU that you're running. As you can see here, mine's is a it's an older machine. Uh, I have a Z440 with uh, an older Xeon CPU. Um, it also, this I think this is the memory, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, not only can it do your CPU, it can do your memory. Uh, this is my hard drive, so it can check the temperature for my hard drive, too. And this is my graphics card, the NVIDIA Quadro M4000. So, it, it's good. It can measure all those. It can check the temperature for all those things. And as you see here, this is my CPU. Uh, it's checking the temperature for all for the cores. So, yeah, you can use this application or, or this tool, sorry. And it's pretty good. Let's check the temperature here for my two sticks of memory. Running at 47, 41. This is my hard drive. And this is the temperature for my GPU. Uh, you can go through the other stuff here, like the fans, but like I said, we're only interested in the temperatures. So, yep, feel free to download this tool, use it, CPU ID, um, heart HW monitor. Uh, it's a pretty good tool. So, hope you like the video. Bye.